on December 12, 1937, the 9-1-1 one one Chicago Bears welcomed 8-3 Washington to Wrigley Field for the NFL Championship game. The ice caused slipping right from the opening kickoff, returned by International Falls native Bronco Nagurski. Jack Manders gained a few yards for the Bears, but they ultimately punted. Washington mounted the first scoring drive of the game. Sammy Baugh, the quarterback for Washington, later said the conditions were the worst of his career because the sod had been chewed up in clumps the previous week and froze so solid they cut everybody's skin. Here, Cliff Battles, a fellow Hall of Famer, uh, who was playing the final game of his career, got it started off with a well-set-up screen pass. A short pass to Riley Smith picked up a few more yards, though Smith paid the price. Cliff Battles, who led the NFL with 874 yards rushing in 1937, ran seven yards for the game's first TD behind a plethora of outstanding blocks. Bronco Nagurski's tough running helped the Bears move down the field. Nagurski retired after the game, but remarkably came out of retirement five years later to help the 1943 Bears win the championship. The TD here was scored by Mr. Jack Manor, Manders from 10 yards out, and then he himself kicked the extra point that followed. On the next possession, Bernie Masterson, who led the NFL with nine TD passes in 1937, added this one to Jack Manders to give the Bears the lead 14 to seven. That lead held up all the way to halftime. In the second half, Sammy Baugh hurled two long TD passes to Wayne Milner to tie the game. This first pass tied the game at 14, and it went for 54 yards. Both Milner and Baugh are members of the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Then, after Eggs Mansky scored a short TD for the Bears, Ba again found Milner, this time from 78 yards out. Though still in the third quarter, this 35-yard TD to Ed Justice, that comes up next, did in fact prove to be the game-winning title as Washington won its first title 28-21 in its very first season in Washington, D.C., they had been based in Boston the year before and lost the championship to the Packers. The final quarter after this play was scoreless, so this did in fact complete the scoring for the day. This touchdown by Ed Justice.